guys and welcome back to my channel Amber Eats Books. I'm Amber and today I thought that I would do a small book haul video. Um, I did kind of go on a um, children's classic buying spree <laughs> over the last week or two and I also got just a couple of things when I was on vacation. Um, so I definitely want to show you guys all that and if you guys can't see this, but my cat is literally sitting on my lap, nudging me every two seconds. So I will pet him. His name is Beans, he's our black cat. Hopefully he will let me get through the rest of this video. So let's get to the books. One of the first books I found at my local Goodwill um, was a 1970s edition of White Fang by Jack London. Um, I haven't read this since I was like 12 or 13, so I'm really excited to get to this one. The next one I found was a 1993 illustrated edition of Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm. Now I will say, I don't know anything about this and I don't know if I've heard of this. I mean, it kind of sounded familiar, um, but I just couldn't pass up. I just couldn't pass up this edition of it. And I really have been wanting to read more classic, ch classic children's literature. So um, I just decided, why not? Um, I just wanted to show you a couple of the illustrations. I love these illustrated uh, classic books. I really do. So anytime I find one lately, I've been just picking it up, normally only paying like two or sometimes a dollar, sometimes two dollars, sometimes three dollars. Depends on where I actually get them from. But at the Goodwill, I think this was probably only about two dollars. The next one I found was The Secret Garden. Look at that. It's just so pretty. I think this was published in 19... This edition was published in 1998, I think it said. Um, I've read this before, though it's been a long time again. Um, I loved the Secret Garden movie when I was a kid. Oh my gosh, I watched it probably like 14, 15, 16 times um, within just a couple of years. So I really, really enjoyed it and I can't wait to reread the book. The next book I found was The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. Um, this is the Barnes and Nobles edition, I think the 19... 1998 version, I want to say? No, 1992 version of, of this book. Um, I used to watch the movie with Jonathan Taylor Thomas when, you know, I was like 9, 10, 11, something like that. I used to watch it over and over again. So needless to say, I haven't read the book, but I did watch that movie. And we all know that movie's probably got to be the, you know, perfect, perfect book to movie adaptation. But anyway, I'm really excited to read this book. And the next set of children's classic books I found at my library's annual um, summer book sale. Um, they were a s part of a set. I, I know there must be more books to this set, but I found these three. And those three are The Wizard of Oz. I love it. I love the sides. The sides are fantastic for displaying on the bookshelf. Um, and they actually come with illustrations and each book has a matching if I can open this to where it is a little more difficult than I thought has a matching colored ribbon for each book so no no bookmarks needed one's built right in for these anyway so that's the Wizard of Oz and the next one is Heidi which let me see these illustrations are just as nice. I just have to find a page. Sorry, I should have like been more prepared doing this, but again, beautiful, matching, matching uh, ribbon inside. And this one is Anderson's Fairy Tales. Can you see that? It's so pretty. And this one had this one's ribbon doesn't match the color of the book, but the red against the blue I think is fantastic. Let me see if I can find an illustration in here to show you. So, needless to say, I'm so excited to read these. Um, I don't think I've ever read read these, the original stories. I have read a couple other retellings of some. Well, the only retelling I I think I've read is. Wicked from the Wizard of Oz and I know it's not anywhere near as probably good as this book so can't wait to get into them and now I will show you the couple of things I bought for myself while I was on vacation I will start with these two little pins that I bought I like put these on my bookshelves and sometimes I put them on my purses and stuff 
This one just says heart books and this one says eat, sleep, read. I had to dig for this one. This one everyone must have wanted because the package was empty, but I finally found one. It was the, the blah, blah, blah. It was the display one and I just had to have it. So I took it off the display and replaced it with another one. And then the next thing I bought myself was a copy of The Diviners by Libba Bray. I fell in love with this book. Well, the whole series so far, the first two books of the series have been out and I've read them both. And I fell in love with these stories. So I had to buy my own copy when I saw it just sitting on the bookstore shelf. And then the last thing that I got from the independent bookstore that I went to um, in Mystic, Connecticut when I was on vacation was this gorgeous, <laughs> Like, I can't even tell you. I am in love with this copy of Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. It's like journal material. It's a journal journal cover. And look at, the, look at the inside papers. Look at that. I just, I can't, I can't. I've never read Alice in Wonderland or Through the Looking Glass. So, I really want to read this but I also want to read the rest of the books I've got so I think every month from now on I will read one classic children's book that I have not read um this one will definitely be at the top of my list because it's just so pretty it's so pretty I just want to I just want to pet it because it's so pretty I love it anyway those are all the books that I have gotten in the recent weeks um, if you have any copies of these or different editions please let me know because I'm always looking you know to to beef up my library just books for display I would really love to have so let me know if you have any of those if you've read any of these and if you've loved them what your opinions were just let me know in the comments below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up um, if you would like to see more bookish videos please subscribe to my channel and as always happy reading